a quarter cup of sugar. Um, you could, you probably could. Um, Adding the yeast, we've put in two and a quarter, so we need three, uh, three quarters more. We are going to add four cups of flour. And we're gonna turn this on. The proof is the putting the yeast in, uh, letting, letting the yeast, um, the yeast, the sugar, and the salt. And, um, salt. Uh, of water, yeast, sugar, and water, um, and, and letting the yeast bubble. That's the cool thing. When you do it, when you use regular yeast, it's helpful to like add half of the flour to and make a sponge for about 20 minutes, and then add the rest of the flour. But Again, using the instant yeast eliminates that meat that you need to let to do that. No, no. You know, till it gets to the right consistency. Just a little bit at a time. You don't want to overflower it because then it's just like dead. Add um, raisins or any other, anything that I'm going to add. Um, you know, for Sukkot, which is the Fall Harvest Festival, I sometimes put um, apples and cinnamon oh, in, nice. in the challah. Or you could put pumpkin in the challah. This is what I love about doing it by, this is why I do it by hand as opposed to the dough, dough hook. It's very therapeutic. <laughs> right? So you just turn it and smush it with your palm. Turn it and smush it with your palm. You know, I you don't want to overwork it. Um, you want it to be a really beautiful, nice texture. Um, five minutes, ten minutes, half hour. Oh, gosh, no. Um, four or five minutes at the most. Anything more than four or five minutes, the dough gets very dense. Just That's just to keep the saran wrap from sticking. All right, and we're going to let that rise for about a half an hour while we move on to the next thing. And look, it's beautiful. We need a little, we're going to put a little bit of flour on the table. And actually, so there are many different ways to braid a challah. So I'm going to show, I'm going to demonstrate a few of them. I like to use the knife to cut the dough rather than just tearing it apart. Braid in general represents unity um, and togetherness three strands braid. Now here's the trick. You don't want to have too much flour on it or it just slides and it doesn't roll very nicely. So one thing you can do nicely, just a little bit of oil. Okay, there's one. Uh, this recipe says it makes a small challah. I don't think it's going to be so small. Okay, y'all know how to braid hair? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have to learn, though. I got a three-year-old. So yeah. you're, gonna, you're just going to pinch the top together, and we're going to fix that later. Okay? <coughs> so <coughs> right over the middle, left over the middle, right over the middle, left over the middle, just like you're braiding hair. You get to the end, you pinch them together, you're gonna to sort of walk it up the back a little bit so that the end looks nice and pretty at the end. And then we're gonna fix this by doing the same thing. We're gonna walk it back a little bit and make that end nice and round. 
Like when you touch your brain. Yes, I'm just gonna do a light a light spray over the challah so that the plastic doesn't stick to it. And we're gonna put the plastic wrap over so as it rises the second time. At home, I might instead just use a dish towel. Really? Yeah.